Hello, my name is Beatrice and I am the Senior Curator of Fashion and Decorative Arts here at the Museum of London and I am very pleased to welcome you to another instalment of London's Fashion Alphabet. We've managed to get all the way to P and being in London, P cannot stand for anything else but punk. So when many people think about punk and clothes, what they think about is Vivian Westwood and Malcolm McLaren and their shop on King's Road and the Sex Pistols and their clothes were amazing and rightly famous but many punks couldn't afford them or they didn't want to buy them or not buy them there so many punks were making their own things and that's the kind of things I want to talk about today. So the first thing I want to start with is this shirt. Um, this was customized customized by someone called Peter Compton and I love it because it contains so many things that people traditionally associate with punk so you've you've got the safety pins you've got the toilet pull chains but you've also you've got rips um, and you've also got um, you've got zips you've also got some pull rings from drinks cans um, and then of course you've got a lot of paint splatters the other thing is he wrote chaos on the back. One of the other reasons I wanted to talk about particularly about this shirt is that the Clash they sort of changed their look every year with every LP so their first look was pretty much wearing paint splattered clothes and apparently that had something to do with them having to paint their own rehearsal space in Camden. But another reason was also Glenn Matlock uh, from the Sex Pistols who apparently famously had paint splattered trousers and he was also the inspiration behind a shop in Brixton on Brixton High Road um, and the next few objects I want to show you are, are from that shop. So the shop was for obvious reasons was called Pollocks um, because a lot of the clothes in the shop were Pollocked after um, the American artist who, who made the sort of paint splatter paintings and um, the shop was opened by someone called Nick Cash together with friends he, he would make clothes usually ba based on on artworks so Pollux was one of them and another item that we have from the shop is this Mondrian t-shirt here and on the t-shirt you can actually also see just about the Pollux label Apparently the shop was only open for a year and they sold about 50 things so we're super lucky to have a few items in our collection. I think they're really really rare and um, he opened the shop also partly because McLaren and Westwood shop was rather expensive and a lot of people couldn't afford the things there. So then another big thing about punk of course is badges and I really like the the ones that Paul Kirby put together here so again a clash pop up again this is um, one to do with their tour the 16 tons tour um, then you've got stiff little fingers you've got the damned of course UK subs the ruts and of course the Ramones really really important um, for the development of punk and then John Lydon's Public Image Limited. So the last little group of objects I want to talk about are these five cassettes and they are post-punk admittedly they're sort of early 1980s uh, they were made by Luke Blair but I think they still show the same DIY aesthetic so when we interviewed Luke he explained to us that um, you wouldn't necessarily lend your records to your friends because they were really really precious but you would make tapes and then he also customized the tape covers and he used Tipex which was a thing that you know people maybe don't know anymore but that would have made this sort of white paint sometimes he would use um, I think on this one he used letter set which were these um, letters that you sort of rubbed off this is a Nick Cave and he would also be inspired by photographs or the actual album covers and with some of them the damned appear again in this one he also customized the actual um, tapes inside I hope that this quick run through some of our punk collection will inspire you and get you to customize your own clothes. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, we'll be back in the new year with our next installment, which will be the letter Q.